What's your retro game fans? Welcome back to the Zeus Dads and Emulated Retro Game Channel, and I go by the name of Zeus. And for this let's play, I bring you a game by Romox, published by Romox in 1983, called It Hicks, uh, developed by a chap called Don Palmer. Unfortunately, the crack groups, as you can see there, have uh, not have removed his name and put theirs uh, uh, instead. But anyway, that who that's who it was actually written by, Don Palmer, Canadian, I think, Canada. I think it's from Canada. 1983, as I said. Um, very good little game, this. The idea is you've got to control your ship through a maze of weird and moving objects. Wars are moving. This funny little weird thing's flying around. If he touches you, you're dead. Uh, you have a shield. Uh, you activate that by pressing the fire button. But when you do that, you can't move your ship anymore. So it's very tricky. Everything is very well. You've got to be perfectly timed to get through the maze. So you go from the start point and get to the exit of the maze. I think there's about 12 levels altogether. I've done a long play of this as well, so if you want to see that, um, just go to the link. There'll be one provided in the video description under this video. Just go to that uh, and click on the link. It will take you straight to it. That's all the levels of this game uh, shown. So it hicks. I don't know where that name come from, but uh, well, it's unusual, isn't it? It doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, it hicks. What could that mean? I mean bollocks couldn't it really I suppose we go with that it's bollocks but the game's not bollocks it's a very good game and we're going to start it right now without cheats so there you go that's the first maze and you'll see your little ship tiny little saucer thing on the bottom left hand see me moving it around now you've got to get through these you've got to get to the exit and avoid all these dodgy uh, well keep your finger on the fire button uh, for the shield if that thing touches you that's flying around, you'll lose a life and you'll go back to the start. So you've got to be careful. So it's it's complete navigation. There is a slight, there's no inertia, but there is a slight gravitational pull on your ship. If you leave it, it will graphically, it will go down the screen, graphic by graphic, very slowly. I think we might do stage one first go here. Perfect. Stage one done. It's a very challenging game. It's a very good game. I do like it, and look at this, this is just level 2, but look at that. I mean, this is one of the hardest levels. Anything you touch will kill you, so you've got to time everything perfectly. There we go, press my fire button. This is a nasty bit. I can. This is very difficult. This bit. Oh, bloody hell! Horrible bit of the stage that. Ooh. Right. Let's try again. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can get frustrating, but uh, see. If I didn't have my shield on, then he would have killed me. But once you press the shield, you can't move your ship, so that's a bit, a bit um, tough. Right, see if I'm lucky. There we go. Right. Cut the key. No, cut the key. There we go. Hey, level two done. I didn't know anything about this game. I was just, um, I think I was just scouting through the Atari database, game database, and uh, I saw it. And when I like the look of a game, I'll, um, I'll try and get it. Now, you see that key flashing in the top left hand corner? Oh shit. Oh, bollocks. That was careless. Shield on. Thank you. Now we've got to get that key because it won't let you out the exit if you don't get that key. Now the key's collected, it's changed colour. I've just wasted two of my lives. It's annoying. And the shield goes down rapidly if you're not careful. Oh, I was trying to avoid that bloody thing. Let's try again. Up, over, down. Fire button on. Under there, under there. I've got to time this right. Oh, 
Ooh, there we go. There, should, there we go, energy bar. And I think I've done this now. So there we go. Yeah, it's um, it's different. I can't remember it. But thanks to a chap on the forums, um, get out of it. Thanks to a chap on the forums, he was able to uh, work out an infinite. Um, well, just not an infinite shield, but uh, an infinite. Oh, that was easy enough. Um, invincibility against everything, because I can get to about level eight, level nine without cheats. And then there's one level that's just ridiculous. So I had to carry on with my long play. I had to put the cheats on. I kept the uh, eight levels I did without the cheats, and then I finished off the game with the uh, um, with the cheats on. Thanks to him working that out. Ah, the chap called Kim through the uh, forums. So spot on for that, mate, for working that out. Very clever. This is nasty. Uh, I don't know what that pink thing is. See that pink square where I'm heading to? It doesn't do anything. I don't know what the point of it is. But I'm going up that anyway so I can show you. See, look, I'm in it now. I, I really don't know what that's about. Right, come on, give me the gap. This is tricky. Oh, we got the gap, right. Okay, now we got a... Oh, no, you dick. You've got to be so careful. Oh, bollocks. It's a tricky game, but I tell you, it's addictive. It will keep you coming back for more. Let's have another go. I want to have another go at that. So I carelessly lost two lives earlier, didn't I? In fairness. So let's see how we can do this time. Thank you. Thank you. Got you again. You tried to kill me twice then already. Irritating little bastard you are. He's been a bit vicious this time, isn't he? Oh no, you idiot! <laughs> Bloody hell. I should have had that level done then. That fucking thing flying around. I was keeping an eye on that thing. Gotcha. Shame thing is, he doesn't stay dead. Let's try that again. Thank you. Sorted. Yeah, that's a that's a horrible level. This one. I love that noise of the shield going up there. That noise is used in so many Atari games. Check on here. Oh, you fucking irritating pile of poo, whatever you are. Now that was care. That was my fault. You must make sure you've pressed the shield enough to. Um Get the key. No way. That's bullshit right there. I'm doing worse than last time. Piss off. Okay. The time is so right. Let me in, thank you. Yeah, I like this game. Peter wasn't the sequel. I love it when I, I hate it when I've got games I like and there's never a sequel. It's like, I wonder what it could have been like kind of factor comes into it. 
only we had a sequel. Okay, so far so good. We've got to wait for this thing to come along. Oh, oh. No, I'm not going to rush. Thank you, yeah, see, sometimes it's good to take your time. <coughs> okay. Oh, tricky, is that fucking thing? Press the fire button quickly enough. No, fuck's sake! No, oh, that'll do. And I'm not saying that because I don't like the game. I do like the game, but uh, when it gets a bit frustrating, um, and you know you're starting to your temperature starting to boil, <laughs> it's best to walk away, keep your cool. Don't go on one big fuck off ski fuck off, big fucking fuck off tantrum free, uh, spree. Don't want to do that. It ruins your gameplay and it ruins the fun of the game. So it's best to walk away sometimes. And uh, in this case, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what do I think about it? I like it. Uh, give it out of 10 or 100, whatever. If I gave it 100, I'd give it about 70. It's good enough. It's obviously not graphically the most stunning game out there, but... Uh, I've said it many times before, sometimes you don't need that, do you, to have a really good uh, addictive uh, game to play. But yeah, 70 I think, uh, nice sound effects, uh, a bit of creepy, weird, atmospheric music on the title screen. There is an ending, I won't say any more than that, if you want to see it, um, as I said, just click the link in this video description of my long play and it will uh, take you straight to it and you can watch it, all um, 12 levels, I think it's 12 levels anyway. So there you go, It Hicks, strange name, game by Don Palmer, back in 1983, uh, Canadian game, as I said, I think it's a Canadian game, and uh, well worth playing, give it a few games. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play, until next time, take care, and happy gaming.